of this word, God, that you have given us. Feed us until we want no more. Thank you for Mr. Wells and these fine musicians. We ask all blessings now in your name. And we know this word will not go out and and return unto you, Lord, but we know that it will reach the target in which you have intended. Someone needs to hear this. These and all blessings rest in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. First Samuel chapter 30. First Samuel chapter 30. Amen. First Samuel chapter 30. Heavy on my heart, and I say this in all love. I say this for information purposes as well. Whatever is going on, whatever is going on, make sure that you, Amen. Make sure you show up at your church. Y'all listen. Yes, sir. Make sure you show up where God has planted you. Amen. Whatever's going on. That's right. Because if you take care of where God has planted you, you'll take care of everything else amen. for you. Amen. amen. But if you, if you neglect, amen, home, God is not pleased with that. Amen. Now, I know there's folks listening, but I know so many people don't ever come to the sanctuary where they listen. I'm talking right. to you. If you feel guilty, you're supposed to. Amen. The word is supposed to convict us as well. That's right. That's confirm us. They might want confirmation, mm-hmm. but they don't want conviction. That's right. And conviction can grow you just as well as confirmation. Amen. Convict me. Uh, as well, as, as married men, there's no way that we take care of somebody else's home. Not our own. Amen. Amen. I don't care what's going on. Mm-hmm. Take care of me. Amen. And, and God will bless you. I got that out of the way. First Samuel chapter thirty, verse six. First Samuel chapter thirty, verse six. One word. Now David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stumbling him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. You can see this in the presence of God. Encourage yourself. Amen. Encourage yourself. Amen. Has it ever seemed as though the world, the entire world, was turning against you? Mm, mm, mm. My, my, my. Even after all you've done. And the good you try to do. Amen. Have you ever been through so much that it leaves you with post traumatic stress? <clears throat> have, have you ever been like David, it says, was greatly distressed? Mm-hmm. Have you ever been greatly distressed? Because the people you thought were 
courage. Really weren't. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Preaching this morning. That's right. Yeah. Preach. Just because someone is with you doesn't mean that they are for you. That's right, that's right, that's right. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. I've I, I preached that empty church before. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. What are you supposed to do? When even sometimes it's family, mm -hmm. yeah. who you've done so much for, it seems like they're not appreciative of all that you've done. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like custom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And say something about it. That's right. What are you supposed to do? I hear God saying to somebody who's under the sound of my voice, mm -hmm. be strong in me right now. Mm -hmm. my, my, my. Because I am with you always. Let me, let, me, let me see if I can talk to you in private for a moment. I'm, I, I know you're here. You're not the only one here. But let me see if I can just have a private conversation with you this morning. Amen. Amen. I know what you're going through. Yes, sir. And I can hear your prayers and I can feel your heart. Yes. I can feel your hurt. I can feel your pain. I can feel your disappointment. I know you are feeling alone right now. That's right. After you have been there for so many others. Mm -hmm. And now it seems like there is no one here for you. Uh -huh. The Bible says, and, and, and I don't know, it seems like this Christians don't practice this today. Do unto others yes. as you would have others do unto you. to do unto you. Yes. That sounds like fairness. That sounds like if you claim that you have Christ in your heart uh -huh. and the love of Jesus is permeated through your life, it should also permeate through your attitude. Yes. Love is a verb. It's an action word. I hear God saying, I'm all you need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is saying, it's always been that way between you and me. Talking to somebody? Yeah. I've always been your strength. That's right. Uh -huh. In those hours of loneliness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've always been there for you. Amen. When they called you everything but a child of God. And all you tried to do, David, is just help me. Mm -hmm. Israel. That's right. That's, yes, right. Yes. That's right. And now he's in great distress. Mm -hmm. And there seems to be no one there to encourage him. That's right. But I hear God saying to somebody, we will get through this together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Yeah, that's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Now, 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 let's, let's do a little background. Let's put the scripture in context. Mm -hmm. David was greatly distressed there in 1 Samuel. It right there it says because the people talked about stoning him. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because the soul of all the people was grieved. It says, every man for his sons and his daughters were grieved. Mm -hmm. But David, come on somebody, yeah. felt all alone. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Now this is just right after they won a battle. Mm -hmm. Come on somebody. When David had put his life on the line. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. For Israel. Mm -hmm. For the people of God. The Jews, the Hebrews, whatever you want to refer to them, put his 
life on the line. You can see sometimes when you are the leader, mm -hmm. your, your, your prayers are always public. That's right, that's right, that's right. Your love for the people is not always shown in public. Come on, can I get a witness? Yeah. But it's shown in the acts that you take. Mm -hmm. Because when you love somebody, you can come on somebody, you can love them even though you know that they want to stone you. Help me, Holy Ghost. The same people you pray for, mm -hmm. the same people you help financially, mm -hmm. the same people you put your life on the line, the same people that God has ordained for you to lead. And I'm not talking about me personally, no. Uh -huh. This is not a G. Burke Murphy sermon. But the same people that you can call to lead, which God has called David to lead these people. How? And the same people that you've been called to lead, and you have led in battle, and we've had victory. Uh -huh. Now, they want to stone you. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and they're grieved. What does that mean? I've done a little research. The people was grieved. These are the same people who love David. Mm -hmm. David today has a city named after him. That's right. The city of David. Mm -hmm. Bethlehem. Come on, somebody. He's got an Israel in the flag. <coughs> Even today, it's got the star of David. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was one of the greatest kings that Israel, God has ever given to Israel. That's right. But here in First Samuel, they want to stone him my, my, my. because they're free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 what can cause somebody to want to uh, adore you? Because mm -hmm. they know that God anointed you to be our king. And God has anointed you to be the Philippines time after time, to be the Edomites time, time after time, the Amalekites time after time. What could cause now the people to be grieved when they should be happy that God is blessing them? Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to help somebody to say, and then we'll get out of here. Thank you, Lord. Somebody have put poison into the minds of the people to turn them against what they should have been turned to. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to watch. And I'm telling you, it's not a great worry sermon. Don't, please, don't take it as that. Uh, I'm sure that somebody is receiving this in their spirit. What can cause people to now be weak? It's another word is for vexed. Mm -hmm. You ever walked into a room, a room of people that, you know, that supposedly was supposed to know you? And 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 you know that they have treated you one way, good yes. at one time, yes. and then you walk into the room and you feel that there's been a shift yes. in their spirit. Yes. That something has caused them to be grieved. Yes. And what that caused them to be grieved here in First Samuel is what some people had said to them. Come on, somebody. Yes. About David. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And they wanted to stone him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now the thing about stoning is in, in, the, in, in the Bible days, in the Old Testament, you was able to stone somebody who went against, who broke the word of God. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. But remember when Pastor Harvard preached about the woman who was taken in adultery? Yes. And they brought her to Jesus. Yes. And they said, this woman was taken, this woman was caught in the act mm -hmm. of adultery. Yes. Right. It made me question, well, why would you watch? Yeah. Amen. Why would you be the good one? Amen. Amen.
But they said this woman was taking the adultery, and the law says that she should be stoned. Right. And Jesus said, All right, you're right. That's what the law said. Thank God for God. Amen. Jesus was wise because he was God yes. in the flesh. Right. And he said, You're right. I can't go. They wanted to catch him and see if he would deny the law. Mm -hmm. He said, You are right. Mm -hmm. That's what the law says. Mm -hmm. She should be stoned. Mm -hmm. But then Jesus has split the script on her. Yes, he said, but let the person without sin, let he who ain't got no sin, let he who has never broken the law, let he who is perfect, mm. cast the first, throw the first stone out. They have stones in their hands ready. And what eventually, one by one, the Bible says that they drop these stones <laughs> and walk out. Now, here is. God's people now wanted to stone David because of something that somebody had said to them about David. And it changed their whole demeanor. It grieved them. See, only the devil wants to, come on somebody, grieve you. That's right. And cause you to live in a state of being grieved. Mm -hmm. Because when you are in a state of being grieved, it's hard for you in a grieved state to do what God has called you to do. Because you are too worried about whatever it is that is causing you grief. Come on, somebody. If you've ever been for grief, it'll, 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 real grief, I'm talking about grief, maybe even of a loved one. It'll, it'll, it'll cause your appetite to go away. It'll cause you not to want to leave the house. It'll cause you not to want to talk to nobody. Amen. It'll cause you to stop you from doing what God has called you to do. The devil wants to grieve you, but Jesus said, I've come that you might have life. And that you might have it more abundantly. It took a lot to bring David to this place where he had to encourage himself. But now he's here, right there in verse 6. And God is his only strength. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God. The Lord. The creator of the ends of the earth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He needs the faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He gives power, power. to the weak. Yes. And those who have no might, mm -hmm. he increases strength. Yes. Even the youth yes. shall fail yes. and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. Yes. But they that wait on the Lord can I preach like I feel it? Shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run up and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. David strengthened himself in the Lord. Come on, somebody. This was backslidden David. Wayward David. Why would God strengthen him? Because God is rich in mercy and grace. Can I get a witness? Because David was now completely broken. But he was when you're completely broken, when you empty out of yourself, that means you're ready for God to pour into you. Can I get a witness? Sometimes we think we have to achieve God's blessing. But David shows us another way. David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. He received strength and felt it flow right through himself. And he was bold enough to ask for it and receive. 
believe it. You ain't that strange. Because you have an axe for it. So sometimes you gotta encourage yourself. They're gonna talk about you. But encourage yourself. They're gonna wanna stone you. But encourage yourself. Beat up your courage. God will take care of you. Beneath his wings, of love of God, God will, yes he will, can I get a witness, that God will, won't he do it, won't he do it, won't he do it, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, encourage yourself. You got to remember God's promise. And it's last of it, you've got to remember God's promise. And you got to remember God's call. Come on, somebody. David could shake his head, bear the father, and say, I am a man. After God's own heart. I'm anointed by God. I'm called by God. I'm promised by God to be the king of Israel. I have a high calling and I have a promise from God. And he hasn't taken it away. No matter what you do, God didn't call you because of your uh, perfection. He called you because of your faithfulness. Yes. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. And so you gotta, here's a word for you, you gotta start living according to that destiny. You gotta start living according to God's promise. You can't let what the people say or what the people do affect you. I know you're distressed. But you gotta encourage yourself. Yes. Yes. All I do is I remember all the good times, all the times when the Lord delivered me okay. out of bad spots. Right. He did it before. That's right. Yes. He'll do it now. Yes. He did it then. Yes. He'll do it now. Yes. He didn't deliver me. I'm just talking about me personally because this is a really a, a, you should personalize this message. Uh-huh. He didn't deliver, I'll say me, but you say you. Uh-huh. He didn't deliver you before to let me perish now. Amen. He didn't deliver me through all of this stuff for him to let me perish now. That's right. Because of what the people want. You are not called by people. You are called by God. That's right. And people are just like sheep. They, they can breathe. They can change up. Come on, somebody. They can be with you one day and against you the next day. That's right. They can say, Hosanna one day. Yes, and crucify you or stone you the next day. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. And what you need to learn how to do is encourage yourself. Yes. If I can just get to the church house, if I can just get in to the presence of God, yes. come on, somebody. Yes. Who can stop me from getting into the presence of God? I know how to get a praise through. Everything that I've been through has caused me to get a praise through. If I get a praise through, I can get a praise through. Can I get a witness? I'll put my hand on myself. And I say, be in heaven. I'll put my hand on myself. And I'll say, everything tell me. It's going to be all right. You don't need nobody to encourage you. Encourage yourself. Thank you, Lord. Anybody know how to do that? Anybody know how to say thank you, Lord? You've been good. I know you called me. I know you delivered me. 
Yeah, if you just break one part of it, you done broke the whole. <laughs> That's why. Yours a church, I open my hand, just come up and close with prayer. 